South Korea has decided to bring back a group of serious criminals for trial domestically. The police department dispatched several detectives to escort them, along with doctors and nurses. During dinner time, one doctor stealthily entered the cargo hold and encountered a creature covered in blood, indicating extreme danger. As the ship sailed into international waters, one of the criminals, David, regurgitated a bloody wire from inside him, unlocked his handcuffs, and passed the wire to his adjacent companion. Meanwhile, a group of criminals disguised as crew members began their operation, retrieving a large cache of weapons from the storage room and brazenly initiating a rescue. Several policemen passing by were swiftly killed by the criminals before they could react. On the other side, David's companion clumsily made noise while unlocking, drawing the attention of the police, who were brutally killed the next moment. The criminals stood respectfully at the door, revealing that David was their leader, and all the criminals on this level were now free. However, one criminal showed disdain towards David and was mercilessly cued by him. Only a young man named Tom, who wished to reach South Korea peacefully and had no intention of causing trouble with David, remained. Meanwhile, the criminal cutting the wires on the signal tower happened to be spotted by Captain Dan. Realizing trouble was brewing, he took Officer Jenny and rushed to the cockpit. Chaos erupted between the two groups on board. And the next moment, a monster emerged. It turned out that the blood from the corpses in the refrigeration room had seeped through the floor dripping onto the creature inside the wooden crate. Sensing the scent of blood, the creature awakened. The creature unleashed carnage. When David attempted to shoot the creature, he found that his bullets were ineffective, as if the creature were invulnerable. David was brutally slain by the creature. Tom intervened to rescue, inadvertently noticing a number on the creature's chest. Hinting at its origin, the creature continued its rampage, killing many people, leaving only one woman and one overweight man alive. The two fled and took refuge in an elevator. Just when they thought they were safe, the creature suddenly leaped onto the top of the elevator, breaking through the elevator ceiling and entering inside. Hearing the commotion, Ben arrived in time to rescue the woman, but the overweight man was mercilessly killed by the creature. As the last cable sapped, the elevator plummeted rapidly. Ben took the woman to the kitchen and opened the refrigeration room. Filled with corpses, the monster pursued them. But with a vast difference in strength, Ben could only passively endure the beating. The woman lay among the corpses, hoeing her breath, and managed to deceive the creature. On the other side, Jim led a group of individuals from the pharmaceutical company towards the location of the cargo ship. These individuals had peculiar patterns in the corners of their eyes and had injected a potion that enhanced their combat abilities. Once the potion took effect, their left eyes immediately glowed like the monster. They too were bioengineered beings. They promptly killed Jenny and the others. Just as Jim was about to unleash havoc, Tom intervened. As it turned out, Tom was also a bioengineered being. Initially, there were hundreds of individuals like Tom. But many couldn't withstand the modifications and perished in the laboratory. Eventually, these failed experiments were loaded onto trucks and taken to a pig farm to become pig feed. However, Tom unexpectedly revived and escaped, living an ordinary life like a regular person until Jim discovered he was still alive and killed Tom's wife and son. Seeking revenge, Tom disguised himself as a criminal and boarded the cargo ship. When the monster suddenly appeared, ordinary bioengineered beings were no match. Jim, being a bioengineered being himself, easily handled the monster. He even cruelly slaughtered the monster in front of Tom. The battle between the two erupted instantly, and as both were bioengineered beings, they engaged in fierce combat. When Jim made a joke about Tom's deceased child, Tom completely lost control. After severely injuring Jim, Tom kicked him into the sea and then jumped in to finish him off, ultimately killing Jim and emerging from the sea. In the end, the big boss behind the scenes approached a young boy, hinting at unusual developments to come. 